Shabbat Shalom. This week's Parsha of Vayigash brings us to the culmination of the Joseph story. When after so many years of being alone in Egypt, he is finally reconciled with his brothers as he reveals his identity. And there is weeping and hugging and shock and reconciliation. And there is forgiveness. And Joseph sends his brothers back to Eretz Israel to pick up his father Yaakov and bring him back to Egypt. When the brothers return to Eretz Israel and they come before Jacob and they say, Our brother Yosef is still alive. The Torah says that Yaakov didn't believe them. And we understand why he didn't believe them. After all this time, not a word from Yosef. Why would he, why would he, Yaakov, believe his sons who said, Yosef is alive? Because so many years earlier, it was the same boys who came to Yaakov and said, Do you recognize this coat? And Yaakov looked at the coat and said, It is the coat of my son Yosef. And the coat was torn, and it was covered in blood. And the boys were silent, letting Yaakov believe that Yosef indeed was dead. So now these same boys come back and say, Yosef is alive. Why should Yaakov believe them? Which leads Rabbi Shimon in the second century as recorded in the work called the Avot de Rabbi Natan, to say this proves that the punishment of the liar is that he's not believed even when he tells the truth. And how wise is that statement? The punishment of the liar is that he's not believed even when he tells the truth. All we have at the end of the day is our honesty and our integrity. The amount and the value of our possessions, meaningless. The only thing that counts at the end of the day is whether, in fact, our word can be trusted. And Rabbi Shimon teaches us a profound lesson. The punishment of the liar is that he's not believed even when he tells the truth. And once you're caught in a lie, how do you get your reputation back? And once you're shown to be dishonest, how do you get people to trust you again? We all make mistakes, and we all say things that are not truthful. But let us remember that we learn from Father Yaakov and Joseph and his brothers, as interpreted by Rabbi Shimon, the punishment of the liar is that he is not believed even when he tells the truth. Shabbat Shalom, and may you have a Zisan Shabbos.